Hey there, fans of either uh, Convulsion or LBO Gaming. Um, I'm making this video because uh, there is practically no epilogue. I kind of worked on it and it was kind of turning out like shit. And uh, our voice actor, D.N. Hodge, has uh, had some rather pressing troubles, so he was unable to get us the voice clips for a time. And um, it, it's been way too long. It's been like a month and a half. Convulsion Part 3 has actually been up on LBO Gaming, this channel, for weeks. We, I, we've had it on private because we were waiting for the epilogue. But um, now it's live. And if there is an epilogue, I guess I'll just link you to it. But um, what I'm really here for is to explain to you the story behind Convulsion. Okay, so the main character, the dude running around from the zombies in Part 1, the brown armor, his name is Lancer. He actually does not have a true name. Lancer's just a nickname that people use for him because uh, he served in the military and he preferred to use knives and uh, melee weapons as to gun. It's not really important. But anyway, he was sent to the space station, Anger 9, by his boss, Travis, the person you're looking at on your screen right now. And um, basically why that is is because Lancer actually attains a very high spot at Sea Tech Industries where he works for Travis. And he was giving away just a fuck ton of corporate secrets to uh, Sea Tech's adversary. I think it was Steel X Studios? Yes, it was. <laughs> Can't remember my own damn story. Sorry. But anyway, so Travis had to have Lancer killed, tried to have Lancer killed, on several different occasions by using a variety of different tactics. But then uh, La Travis discovered Project Convulsion, which was basically an attempt to recreate the Spartan 2s that went horribly wrong and increased uh, levels of aggression by extreme amounts in test subjects, allowing them to infect others with it, kind of like zombies, yes, you could call them that. So anyway, Travis finds out about this, and he sends Lancer to Anchor 9, the restricted part that was cut off when uh, the virus or whatever you want to call it got loose hoping that the zombies would just finish him off. But um, he sent the he contacted the UNSC, and he had them send an ODST who they also wanted dead, for unknown reasons, to the station with a fail-safe code that she was supposed to put into the life support console in Part 2 that was actually going to turn off the life support and um, deprive the station of air. They did that to make sure that Lancer was done for good, and also the UNSC uh, killed their ODST like they wanted. But that didn't work, because Lancer was smart enough to figure it out, and so he crashed the station into the canyon in Part 3. And um, where Part 3 picks up, Travis has discovered that Lancer has done this, and... So he just decides that he's going to go kill Lancer himself. Screw trying to be subtle about it. So what happens is when Lancer crosses the station, he's actually unconscious for a couple weeks, believe it or not. In Convulsion Part 3, in the time when the station crashes, like when it goes black screen, to when Lancer wakes up and is on the ground, that's actually a couple weeks period. But anyway, Travis kills the ODST because... One, uh, obviously the UNSC wants her dead, and she already knows too much about the plan to kill Lancer and everything, all that. So they kill her, and Travis realizes that if he they kill Lancer with the Falcon, that anyone who might be scavenging or the authorities or whoever will be able to trace it back to C-Tech because C-Tech uses a special type of bullet casing for its Falcons. It's kind of unknown why C-Tech even has an army at all, but more on that later. So, what happens is, uh, Travis has the Falcon tail Lancer and follow him into a small clearing when where the Falcon lands. And, uh, you know, from there, <laughs> Travis gets out, and Lancer and him have a little nice chit-chat, and then Travis shoots Lancer right in the face. But, um... That's the story of Convulsion, for those of you who were confused about it, and you were like, why the fuck did Lancer get shot in the end of Part 3? But what happens afterwards, what will be in the epilogue, if the epilogue does ever happen to come out, is that Travis makes a series of audio logs. It's just a random thing that he does because he has um, PTSD, so he makes audio logs to calm himself down. And he makes the stupid mistake of making audio logs about the past events on, like, how he killed Lancer and everything. 
And those are discovered by the FBI, who was looking into the kind of mysterious fucking station crash in the middle of a planet. So, um, because of those audio logs that Travis made, he's taken to court, he's found guilty of murdering Lancer and the ODST. The UNSC claims they had absolutely no part in it, which is obviously bullshit. (laughs) So a few officers get uh, shit for that. But back to Travis. He actually um, is executed for this. So that's... Try and wrap your head around that. They still have the death penalty in 2589. But that's practically the story and epilogue to Convulsion Part 3. I will remove this video if um, we are able to come out with the epilogue. Which we probably will. But this is just to explain the story. Because it the story of Convulsion is way bigger than the videos could explain. So, I hope you enjoyed the Convulsion Trilogy. I hope you stay with us for more trilogies and machinimas to come. I'm sorry for stuttering so goddamn much throughout this whole video. I just, I'm not in it today. But, uh, yeah. See you guys.